some of people who work within the constituency just to gauge what their concerns are prior to election 2024. And we know that the main election will be held on the 7th of December 2024. But before then, let's speak to our own regular constituent. What do they think of the current uh, political atmosphere? What, how do they want duty bearers, those they've elected in office, to be more accountable uh, to them? And then also, those who are expecting to be elected into office, what they also expect of them. And that's why we're here live. You can catch us on TV3 Ghana. And then also, uh, let's have many discussions on this. Just make sure you also uh, contribute your own sentiment or your concerns right up on the stream. Well, let me just speak to an hour people as well. I can, let me just describe what I see currently. So this is a typical market. Uh, area and uh, apart from a being a station we also have uh, a lot of activities ongoing so there's a there's a station here and um, they tend to pick passengers from here to medina and the drivers of course we know that what their concerns have been about high increments or high prices of fuel and we know that the latest just took place and as a result of that, so we have a mixed bag of uh, traders, those who tend to be involved in transportation, and subsequently just normal people like all of us who reside in various constituencies. I have uh, my good friend here, he's called Mijo. And uh, Mijo, what's up? Cool. What's his say? Adumo. Nice. So, see, I know, yeah, yeah, uh, Adia, yeah, kind of election manifesto. And they say, yeah, nah, more air kasa. Yeah, uh Masitina Muta saying a dear Namo Pese one more office in a year mam eh yeah more MPs name more district assemblies no more and eh one more so or mabe contest election no a mobe v two ama womo in uh in December on December seventh, twenty twenty four. Yeah, dear Namo Pese one more year mamu. Uh but to see Adam my first question is about the country Ghana. Why was your constituency no? Was a dear na dawa kumaso uh yes eh. Uh, yeah, your mamma. Uh, oh, your constituent, no. Because of why I can say for your road in your crap on your road in your papa beer and Nimsi. Now, and crap of beer or crap, Muslim Baba says you crap on. A mobile book, I know to all, never on a bread. Says Yana, a Tamus Crabone, be a Juma crap, and now Adani as him. Your fire, Cassia, Cassia, Cassia. No, be bea and call ye. It's a book by Nebba, a Pamucho say, Saya Manamano, and Mohuna, a multimedia minor, and Bois, your crumuno, my own. Okay. So, kam in some no way, we must also say, "Oh, mama, I was a casual and sober team. I, 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 Epi Mwankure, Ezo Eduba, Chiki Nguamu, Eria Muduka, Se Jala Muna, Eria Mu. Ga Anya Muna, Apocha Anya Aje, Mwanda Tu Maske Ga, Ba Jala Muna Komi Ba, Muna Agira Kama Aya, Aya, Ba Aya, Ezo Anya Namu Kebina Wawwe, Iwa Neze Kake Ni Managa Ba Ize Bani, Ba Anya Zamu Bima Mushika Chiki Stech Mabere Muso Kama, Zamu Zomu Yaiki, Muna Wahala, Sa Muna Abaswa, Kuso Suba Muna, Nguana, Se Sujala Muna Nguana, Se Mujire Kemu, Se Aiki Mwechi Gaba. Okay, so if you take a look at the roads that you're talking about, which particular roads are you talking about? Uh, Ebinawa from Nima overhead, Safa Echiro Sakodu Asama Station. Ebisunawa with free pipe, Sakodu New Tower, Malata Kwainusu, a crime baby, or honor, a moon yama. So what, what has happened? A DNC Kwano, so say a normal uh, tarred road and asphalt road or Omotu Tuswan as a day. No, first, no, no, potus, potus, no, 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 no,
two months to three months in your corner. Now I know work has been done. You have a lot of drivers. A lot of drivers are here and they do a lot of transportation business. What is your transport business? Yes, transport business. What should I do? And then I have a driver for now. I'm going to go and share. The driver for the end of the day is that you are not here. 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 I do not say about from Kakra. I do not enjoy the identity. Scan the room. I do not know so. This is the third is the driver for the third is the new bread. So this is the girl who cries. I mean, to your car, but who buy penny? This is Anasa. So she can't afford to buy a car. Can't afford to buy a car. Can't afford to buy a car. Because the beyond cost rule. Scan the one. I'm a part of the most important thing here. The most full cash in my. In the in a typical day, tell me this is the line now. To walk out. I would cover, and I would call him Medina, and I said, "Catch me." Just describe the situation for me as a driver on a particular day. I mean, call Medina, ni dodo, ani njira, I call numu. But I said, "I'm going to call him." I told him, "Just say four million." In our to be back on us. That's the whole day. The whole day, but me yet to make up for end of five million. I call him. I told him four million. I make up back on us. Can we end of five million? Now this is our assignment. I'm at Bibia High. So, I just say, "Oh, profit in twenty and two hundred Ghana." Oh, top one you come in five big coffee. Count as can count as me each time I eat in five big coffee. And she say brand new na you go super. Yeah. Now the way I tell you, see see I know me perceive me am a for eh so kasab. Good morning to you. What's your name? Good morning. My name is Honorable Baba Alhaji Nuhu Khalid. I am an assembly member for Nima Four Four One, and I chair the Community Development Committee for the ongoing Garrett project. Garrett. Yes. So, in fact, I, I, I came in because I heard... Let, let me also introduce uh, my next gentleman. Please uh, just uh, come by. Okay, that's okay. You face the camera for me. What, what's your name? Honorable Suleiman Anas. I also is Mr. Assembly, Assembly member for Kusuntuli Electoral Area. Nice. Now, I'm just speaking to Mijo here. Mijo is saying that uh, there are concerns about roads. Wh which road, uh, Mijo, did you say has been defaced and not done? Nima Ovairu. So he's a normal driver here. So he's your constituent as well. He's a, he's a member of your, he's a resident in your assembly. Uh, he says that there's this particular road that he's describing. Do you know the road? Actually, I am shocked about his comments. This is a project that is being funded by World Bank, which kick started barely about three months ago. And Everybody within that area is attesting to the quality of work that being done around that area. And I'm shocked the kind of comment I heard from him. There are roads which are bad, and Nima is not an exception. There are roads that are bad in the community. But that road, I am telling you, go and interview everybody on that road. He will tell you that indeed something big is happening on that stretch. That road that he mentioned, and the free pipe that he mentioned, I am I can confidently tell you, he is lying about it. He is not part of the road that has been abandoned. It is a project that World Bank is funding, and we are doing a community upgrading, and that area has been selected for a community upgrading program under the Garrett project. So I'm I am I don't know. Okay, so he didn't say that. He says indeed two months ago, or just about uh, under that two months period. That they wanted or they've started to do work on the project. There's defacing. So I think it was asphalted, there was portals, it's extremely bad. So it was defaced. And he is questioning the rapid nature or the pace of the project. And so he says that it's. In fact, Roland, that was not what he said. That was not what he said because we haven't even gotten to the point where asphalt will be laid on the, on the road. We have two major road that we are, we, are, we are attending to. The first one is the Ashama. We call it Video Land uh, Road. Video Land. Video Land Road. It starts from the Ashama Station up to the uh, 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 La Paz Station. That is where it ends. And then we pick another one from Free Pipe. It goes all the way to the uh, uh, Newtown Road. And as I said, we are, we are do, uh, with, the, with regards to the Newtown one, we are doing a pavement block there. So you are doing the pavements first? Yes. In fact, not pavements first. It's a pavement block like this. 
as an access road down to that lane. And you don't expect pavement work to be completed in just two months. It means we are doing a solid job. That road he talked about, we excavated the road up to about one meter. Well, are you the contractor or you just have information as about said, it? As I said, I chair the community development committee on that project. So I know in and out of that project. We excavated more than one meter and we are now doing a compaction and filling so that the uh, asphalt overlay will be laid on it. We are doing a resilient project around that area. And everybody who lives around the, that area will attest to the fact that indeed we are doing a good job. One thing we notice is that, yes, there's an Asama station, there's a Medina station. Do, the, those in the Asama station, that is where they use as in and out. So some convenience would have been okay. occasion. Okay. But that doesn't mean okay. that, that it has the, been a There clearly is a problem of communication. So there hasn't been stakeholder engagement because... We, we have. Oh, wait. Because he is somebody who plies the road. He's not saying that no work is being done. He says that it's been defaced by the contractor and the, and, and, and the pace is what he's questioning. Now, uh, you, you have also joined us. What's your, what's your name? Are you also an assembly person? No, I was a former consensus chairman and the longest serving consensus chairman in Greater Accra, Chairman Olabode Williams. So, Chairman Olabode Williams. He assigns himself the designation the longest serving constituency chairman of any party. NDC, NDC okay. Um, for Ayawaso East. Yeah. All right. So, um, let me ask you, you're an assemblyman as well. You're in the same assembly with him. Are you also on the same committee, the development committee? Okay. So, what the gentleman is saying, he's only talking as somebody who, who uses the road. So, the question I want to know is that from you, the assembly people, before the start of some of these projects, did you do community engagement and what type of engagement was undertaken? Yeah, we have done a lot of community engagement with the stakeholders in the area. Maybe he hasn't in came there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But most of the people here knew what we've been doing. Okay. Now, uh, uh, okay, so let me, let me give you the mic as well. Oh, if, you you me. At, me. if you take a look at... If you take a look at... Um, the concerns of the community. You haven't been the longest serving chairman for, let's say, a political party, which is the NDC, certainly. What do you think are the top five needs of the people? Well, thank you very much uh, for giving me this opportunity. Yeah, let's, let's try and go and sit down so uh, that we can have some, a nice conversation on this. Continue talking. Uh -huh. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Uh, you rightly asked an important question. Of course, the good people of my constituency here, in the first place, uh, needs job. Job is their priority. Secondly, uh, the rules. And then thirdly, how they can make their living comfortable. But today, under this present government, it is not like that. Ghanaians, and for that matter, are really suffering under this super incompetent government led by Akufado and Dr. Baumia. Mr. Roland, prior to 2016 election, we heard all what Dr. Baumia told us, Ghanaians. And today, we are not seeing anything on the ground. Where we are seated today, this place was done by the NDC government and our honorable member of parliament, Honorable Maknaza. In those days, it wasn't like this. But when Magnaza came, the MP, who is currently in parliament, together with the constituency executives, he was able to do this place nicely for the people to enjoy the road. Today, any major project you are seeing in Ayawa, so East Nima precisely, was done by the NDC government under the auspices of His Excellency, the late President Mills and John Dramani Mahama. Today, as we are speaking, we don't have water in our community. There's no water? There's no water. What do you mean? Which areas have been most affected I by can no water? Tell you because the I know that most part of the, the areas. constituency, we have the Kanda Estates. Is that part of Today, it? Today, as I'm speaking. Uh, Nimarura and all that. So We don't have water in our community. Our mothers, our children are suffering. Yearning for water, we don't get. Under this lazy, super incompetent government. Who promised us that when they take over in 2016, or 2017, they are going to make sure that they solve every problem in this country. 
today what are we seeing when i was coming i heard you talking about cement today a bag of cement is almost 95 ghana cities and his excellency john dramani mama it was 17 ghana cities today most Ghanaians are crying because of the lies and deceit that was peddled by dr baumia and that's why today most Ghanaians are yearning for a change and the change is john dramani mahama and inshallah his excellency john dramani mama will come and rescue this nation john dramani mama in his time we saw what happened the schools the hospitals the roads the water projects even in the city of this excellency Nana Akufado, John Mahama gave them water projects. So that's what I'm saying. That when you come to Ayawaso East today, most of the projects were started and completed by the NDC government. The MPP today cannot mention any major project that has been done in Ayawaso East. We started the Paloma uh, 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 the drain. The drain first. Under his excellency late Jerry John Rollins. Has it been completed? It has been done. In fact, about 95% has been done. We are left only about 5%, if I'm not mistaken. The assembly members are here, and they are doing their best in making sure that it's completed. Today, as we speak, Dr. Bamiya resides in Kanda. We have, do, uh, we have the president who resides in Nima, and they have done nothing. To the so, good people so of the two, the two first and second gentlemen are all in. I they stay in Nima. His house is just by the Nima police station, Nana Akufadu. Dr. Bamiya stays at Kanda. I can tell you vividly that the astro that they, they lied that they were constructing today is in disarray. And you know, where place, is the, the one near the mosque? The one near the mosque. Okay. They couldn't even complete it. And it's in disarray. Today, when it rains, it's just like what? A swimming pool. The children go there to swim. They lied to us in 2020. You mean it wasn't well constructed? It wasn't done. They told us it was their aspirant, the then candidate, Mriku, was doing it. They used it for political gain. And just after the elections, they abandoned it. But I want to assure the good people of Nima, inshallah, if your mama wins, and I know he's going to win by a wider margin, he's going to complete the astro -turf. Today, as we speak, the youth in Iowa so East are yearning for change. They are yearning for jobs. And they are not getting their jobs, which was promised by Dr. Bomia. And I want to assure them vividly that in 2025, when your mama is sworn in, inshallah, majority of the youth in Nima, I have so is precisely, we are going to make sure that the jobs that they are yearning for, they will get the jobs. And that is Excellency John Dramani Mama. The schools that they are yearning for in Iowa so is, inshallah, John Dramani Mama will come and build a school for them. The market. That Dr. Bamiya promised to construct a bill for them. That has been abandoned for so many years. For eight good years, he has never stepped at Nima to even assure the market woman that he will construct it. Inshallah, when Jomama takes over the mantle of this country in 2025, he is going to build a new market for them. The likes of Kajetia Market and Kotogra Market. My brother, the good people of Nima, we are assuring them that Jomama, His Excellency, is poised. And I can assure them that, look, they should not relent. They should not give up. There is hope when your mama takes over in 2025. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. Mashallah. Now, um, please introduce yourself for me. What's your name? My name is Alaji Tanko. Alaji Tanko. Yes, please. Um, are you part of the assembly or the constituents uh, or the no, leaders? I'm an opinion leader. You're an opinion yes. leader. Alaji Tanko. So I have Alaji Tanko. I'll ha I have Chairman Olabode Williams. He says he's the longest uh, serving chairman of the NDC. And, then, and so it's a mixed bag of those who are um, politically exposed persons, opinion leaders, as well as normal citizens in Ayawaso East, constituency that we've come to samples, uh, sample view, views from. And then, of course, um, so what did you say your name was again? Uh -huh, Baba Al Haji. Baba Al Haji uh, is one of the leading assemblymen. He currently chairs. Uh, a community development committee right here. They're undertaking a number of uh, projects and he's part of those who are at the community implementation stage of the Garrett project. Now, uh, and of course, I have you as well, but um, let me speak to you, 
Al Haji Tanko. You take a look at the concerns that have been raised by the community members. For example, Mijo here had been raising issues about the road, and there's been a clarification by Al Haji that it's been done. Um, if you take a look at Ayawaso East, and we know that Nima is the most popular area. Which other areas are popular within Ayawaso East? Which other areas, communities, do you know are popular? We have the Kotobabi. Kotobabi. Now, where we have the police station. Mm. We have Newtown. Newtown. We have Mamobi. Mamobi. Yeah, all these are dense populated areas. Okay. They are of the community. What do you think that the, the government people say that usually is not reflected on the ground for your community members as an opinion leader? Alaji Tanko. Yeah, I don't want to politicize things here. But no no my, politicization. My, my concern, Just speak your heart. Yes, as an opinion leader, is we have two issues in the community, if not three. We make a proposal of a car park because our highway is always packed either by cars or by uh, sand wind or by these wood uh, sellers or what have you on the road which we reported to the government that they should create a car park whereby our, the youth in the community will be used as task force to serve in the community, meaning to create jobs. We've said this, we've sent letters, we've done we've, so many years, nothing has been done. Now the very place that we propose to be used as a car park is being used by squatters. That is the water from Kanda to the Mamubi down, Mamubi got. So, so uh, when you say the gov the gutter, you mean the the drain. The drain. The drain down. from the Kanda area to Mamubi. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Okay. It's a very big place that it can be used as a car park. That is the proposal that we make. We've done everything that the the community the corporate bodies in the community can come in to support, if not the government fund. The community are ready to come Did in. Did you have a, a talk with the assembly? What we was sent there? Letters. We've sent letters to the government. We've sent letters to the government. Not the assembly. we sent direct to the government. we sent the letters. We've sent letters, a lot of letters. Nothing has come out of it. And secondly, we also propose and SHS schools in Nima because there's a problem now, even the police, police headquarters are aware, Nima police are aware that our youth, they don't go direct to the schools. They always dress as they are ready to go to the schools and at the end of the day, they end up playing yeah. games and what have you. Right. It has been reported. This is the two issues that I wanted to talk about. Okay. If it can be addressed, it will help the community. Okay. Seriously. And, th and those are, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll quickly have to talk about some of the issues. I have uh, some others who have joined me. Um, please give the mic to the lady if she can introduce herself for me. Uh, how are you, Efrause? Hmm, my name is Ruka Etilias Yusi. Okay, oh, okay. The assembly member for Nima East Electra area. Uh, Nima East. Electra area. area. Now, how long have you been an assembly woman for? This is my second term being an assembly member. It means that you serve uh, within the assembly, right? Okay. Yes. You, you, you serve at the assembly? Yes. At the assembly, what do you think are the important things that come up uh, that is discussed? For which, when you get to the ground, you don't see a reflection of the things you said at the assembly on the ground. Okay. <laughs> you know, the issues as assembly is about fun. As assembly, we work with fun. If the fund is ready, the project that we approve, we use the fund for those projects. Without the fund, we can't do any project. Our challenge is our common fund, which doesn't come in time, as we all know the challenges. Yeah, I don't know. I, I know, I, I hear from the MPs that the, assembly, the common fund to the assemblies don't come. So tell me, since you are a two-time Assembly woman. This is your second, you just started the, the other one, right? The okay. current or second term. Yes. The first term, the, how long were your common fund delaying? Let's say for a, a year. I know that they give each quarter, every three months it's supposed to go. How long? So within a particular year, 
do they pay in six months or they pay in one year or three months or what? Oh. Six months, we can get our first quarter fund. Even this year, our fourth of last year came this year. Okay. That's the challenge. So from October to December of 2023, yes. it just came? Yes, it just came this year. When that happens, in terms of the delay in the release of the District Assembly Common Fund, as you, an assembly woman, how does it affect development on the ground? It affected development a lot. But when the funds are ready, we use it for development. What are the things that you think your, your assembly people need? Oh, our challenges is about the road ashore that we know. The road sanitation. And usually this community, if you serve them letter on sanitation, they don't come out. You get few people on grounds. They'll be complaining, are you going to pay us? And the former regional minister said, we should clean our frontage and we have bylaws on that, which our people doesn't cooperate on that. If you tell them to come out and help their community, they refuse. They only think about their jobs and the money they will gain from their community at the end of the day. Most of them come from different places to gain their daily bread from their community, but they doesn't help us to sanitize the community. That's our challenge. I, I, I think I know Iowa is, Iowa so is very well. So you're saying that it's uh, an area where we have many people coming from different areas. So which areas do they come from? Apart from oh. Medina, tell me. <laughs> Some come from Medina, Kotobabi, and etc. Yes, which I can identify so all the areas I, that they come from. So you're saying they come to create the problems for you? You said? Are you saying they come to create the problems for you? No, 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 no. They are in their community. We have to work hand to hand. So far as they get their daily bread in their community, we are all one. So if anything, we have to work together. Because so far as we are working here, we all belong to the community. Because you spend your full of time or day in the community. So the community belongs for both of us, so they have to help a lot in the community. All right. When was the last time you called for a sanitation activity or a cleanup exercise? Oh, even when I won this election, for my this thing to thank the community, I call a sanitation cleanup exercise program. Or I always serve the basis with letter the youth of the community to come out and help because they are the future leaders of the community. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Hadja. Now, let, let me go to, uh, let, just the two of you introduce yourselves and then I'll come to you. Let's start with um, him. My name is Musa Ali, Musa Ali. NDC Constituency Communication Officer. Oh, okay, NDC, Musa Ali. Okay, Constituency Communication Officer. My name is Omar Sanda Mohammed, assembly member for Nima Research Electoral Area. All right. So let me stay with you. The, the concerns that have been raised are that developments are ongoing. I, I, I get it from uh, my friend here that sometimes there's no acknowledgement that there are some works that have been doing. For example, we have the Garrett project. It's a very important project which generated a lot of debate in Parliament. And we know that it's supposed to improve sanitation, the drains, etc., within not only Ayawaso, but the whole of greater Accra in terms of. So do you think that residents and constituents don't seem to acknowledge the efforts that are being made in terms of development? And uh, why? I think uh, those, the beneficiaries of the project that is going on uh, much appreciated of what is going on now. Because if you go around and visited where they are doing the project, most of them are happy with what they see. So I don't think uh, the community are not happy with what they are seeing. I think the project is, the problem is, most of them, it has blocked their business. Because some of the drain that they are doing is where people are uh, doing their activities, getting their daily bread. So for some time now, because of the con construction work that is going on, they are not working. So that is only the problem that they are having. But appreciation, I think uh, the community has appreciated what they are saying. Thank you. Now, 
are you all, in terms of you, the politically exposed persons and the parties, are you living in unity in the constituency? And why do you make the conclusion you make? Um, Is there unity among all of you? And relative why? to NDC MPP, you mean? All the, all the parties, assemblymen, yes, those, who, those who are public opinion leaders, etc. I think before I come to that, I would like to also share my view on the issue of the road network in the community. You see, people always want to refer to the ongoing Garrett project. And I don't think that the government can take credit for that. So when the residents say that there's nothing that the government has done for them, I want to stand with them. You understand? The point here is that, but for June 3, 2015, there wouldn't be Garrett project, right? So question is, Right from 2017, ask the government for 80 years what concrete steps have they taken to ensure that they have given Nima or Ayawaso its, its fair share of the cake minus uh, uh, Garid, that is, which was as a result of what happened in 2015. What do you think is absent? Or has, so many has in, not been done. Tell me. I'm telling you, in every aspect, Nima or I also is, hasn't benefited for the past eight years of this government. The thing here is that even the very Garrett project we are talking about, we all know the kind of some, some of the kululus that are going on relative to the amount. You know, they went for a trench of 200 million, the first trench, which, which they spent on the project. However, information we are picking is that they have even misapplied that money and they had to go back to parliament for another 150 million just recently and what we are saying is that look the people of nima are paying taxes the people of nima are paying bet my bed tax we are paying bola tax we are paying so many taxes in fact um, um what do you call it covid tax but for mpp no country in the world has ever taxed people who are sick so our crime in Nima is that Corona comes to attack us and then the government puts a tax for us for being sick on Corona. You understand? And out of that, you never bring any developmental projects so that we can all say that, yes, this is where we see our money going into. So for me, I don't think that the government has done anything unless maybe in the next five months when they are preparing to go out, maybe they can do some you know, rush projects, that one I don't know, I can't tell. But barely five months for, the, for them to go, I think, I want to employ, implore on the government to try as much as possible to do something before they leave power. Because the people of Nima have really suffered. All our guys who are playing the my bets, today, talk to them. They will tell you that a lot of money is being, I mean, taken away from whatever they win. They go and invest and when God blesses them to win, then the government takes its share. Yet, their community is not getting anything from government. And that is bad. So, the people of Nima are saying the government must come in terms of construction of roads, hospitals. We need secondary schools. Just recently, they went to break down um, some fitting shop behind the Nima government clinic. I, I, I like the, the way they did in Lateshi, how they broke the hospital there and left it. So this government has become a government that will always love to destroy, but not be able to, to build. They are also planning to go and destroy what we all call uh, Nima, what is it, Dunia Cinema and CDR there, that they want to undertake a certain project. The question is, how much money do you have? You don't have the money. You want to go and do some wishy-washy things just to convince the people for the votes. What we are saying is that the MPP has failed the people of Nima. In fact, we gave them so much support. They garnered so much vote in the last elections, yet they have, I mean, and taken our votes for granted. So this time round, I expect the people of Nima to give them a resounding reject rejection. This is what I can say for now. So there's no project going on by the government in Nima anywhere, no. Apart from the Garrett one, you said. The Garrett is not a government project. The Greater Accra and, uh, Resilient and It has its different. roots from the former government because the issue here is that let us ask ourselves how many disasters under this government have they been able to solve? Just recently, we saw what happened in Volta region 
when uh, uh, Akosom Bodam was open, you understand? Let us ask ourselves, what has the government done relative to a destruction like that? But if June 3, 2015 had happened, and the government was able to liaise with uh, the World Bank, the then government was able to liaise, liaise with the World Bank, and people tell us that government is a continuum. So these people came and met that project, uh, uh, that agreement already in session. So they just capitalized on it, and then they want to tell us that they initiated it. They never initiated anything called Garage. In fact, they don't know anything about Garage. That Garage project started under the NDC in 2015. This is what I want to tell the people. Uh, now, uh, Alaji, at the yes. assembly, and you interface with the member of parliament as well as uh, even the other political stakeholders. Um, if, let's say, Touchwood is December, what can we say are the projects that have been undertaken to improve the livelihoods of people in Iowa, so East Nima and the rest? Well, for me as an assembly member, I have won my election last year. So if you ask me what project would I take into next election, it means I should wait for the next four years for another election. Okay. So basically, the problem we have in the community has to do with one, indiscipline. Indiscipline. Two, sanitation. Three, water supply problem. Four, roads. And in fact, the key amongst it is the indiscipline that I mentioned. Right now, where you go on the middle of Nima Highway, that is where people That's dump from Kizito. Just in front of us here. Okay. On the middle of the Nima Highway, that is where people dump their refuse. It takes an indisciplined person to do that. You understand? We litter anyhow. And I am speaking this as an assemblyman who, on a daily basis, is confronted with some of these things. And as long as we are not ready to change our attitude, some of these things is going to haunt us even more. With regards to the roads uh, problem, Nima is one of the most worst roads you can think of in the country. Really? Yes. How, yes. Would, you, how would you rate it, zero to ten, in terms of worst and good? Let's well, say if you were a I, contractor. I, I can hardly give Nima roads 2% out of 10. 2 yes. over 10? Yes, yes, yes. Even not 2? Even not too. Clearly, we have a very bad roads in the community. And unfortunately, somewhere, I think last year, there were a contractor who came to site, deceived everybody into believing that he is coming to do a 12.7 kilometer road within the community. Unfortunately, he came and put gravels and left. Which contractor is that? On which road? In fact, I told you it's 12.2 kilometer roads within the Nima community. He came and put gravels and, and abandoned the project. And that is how we are in. And I, after this project, your cameraman can go around the community. This is a center of Accra. This is the seat, this is the community that houses the seat of government. It houses the president himself, it houses the nation's broadcaster. It houses the vice president himself. So how on earth can a year of road be embarked upon and community like this has been abandoned? God knows how. Do you complain at the assembly? Because, um, I, I, because you are the people's representative <laughs> and you even interface with not only the... Is it the municipal chief executive? Yes. And then sometimes you interface with the member of parliament. Yes. So why is it that you don't get these concerns are the assembly raised to the ministry that is supposed to do there, that. There are, there are the projects so East constituents. There are projects that are beyond assemblies. And some of and some of these projects are obviously beyond assembly. This is a project that should be intervened by the central government, by the road minister. Unfortunately, all attempts by the MP, by the MCE, to draw their attention to this community has not success succeeded. So this is the kind of problem we are having. 
So, in the Garrett project, mm. fortunately, we have three components of the Garrett project all at the same time. The community upgrading, the water, improve, water supply improvement, and then sanitation. So, fortunately, all the three, inshallah, in the next 15 uh, months, will be executed within the community, and the community will be the, the beneficiary of that project. Okay, you. so let me go to ordinary members of the community. Now, just introduce yourself. Let this man also introduce yourself, himself. Yes. Uh, good morning. My name is Setnana Kojolati. My name is Setnana Kojolati, and I'm an MPP police station executive. Okay, you are MPP yes. police station executive. What yes. about him? My name is Abdullah Ali, uh, MPP police, police station, station executive. executive. Okay, so go, go take. If you take a look at the concerns, they have both sides, and even the other smaller ones in terms of the political parties and the stakeholders. The concern is we have high youth unemployment, and then sanitation is a big problem, and the roads are a problem, and even there's no water. Now, as a politically exposed person, but also a young person, are you worried about this? Um, how have you made sure that this has gotten high up there so that they can hear the concerns you have? Of course. Uh, there's nobody who agree with what they are saying. And to the extent, I will agree with them also. By saying that the unemployment rate, I'm also a youth. In fact, if I'm not having a job to do, it will be painful. So as for the job, the government was also doing his best. And I know a lot of people that I'm also at others. I also confirm that they will be employed through this government from this constituency. Thank you. All right. You, you seem to be a man of few words. Thank you very much. Now, um, the concern is that we expect more from the central government. Um, do you think that the central government has failed the people of Iowa so East as a young person? Never. I mean, forget about you being an MPP polling station executive. For sure. And that's the reason why I'm here, to clarify some things. Well, when we have an opportunity like this to educate our community members, we have to put political affiliation aside and talk candidly. My uncle here, made the assertion that the MPP government... Oh, Chairman Olabode. Chairman Olabode. The MPP government did nothing for Ayawasu East, which is very, very, very lie. He knows it. Very, very lie. Mr. Roland, when MPP assumed office in 2017, Ayawasu East constituency was under AME. The first thing President Akufuado did was to give us our own municipal assembly. That's the first thing. A person who wants development for a community, give them their freedom to decide in which or which development they want for the community. That's what he did first. And I want to acknowledge the mun uh, municipal assembly the assembly members who are here, they have done a lot of things. When you go to the Nima runabout, the clinic there, there is a new building which was started by our MP. When our, uh, the MCE came under this government, she completed it. They are here, they can attest to that fact. When you go to Ruga Electoral Area, we have substation. The Ruga Electoral Area? Yes, it's part of Iowa so East. We are talking about Iowa so East. We have substation there, electricity, which was commissioned by our incoming vice president of Ghana, Mr. Opoku Prempe. When you go there, we have Institute of Afri uh, Ghanaian Languages, which was built under Ministry of Tourism, under this government, is there. Go and see their roads there. Well, uh, Nima Ruga. The, Ruga, just after the post office and going all that place. Okay. Go and see their roads. What I'm saying is, I just sent to the uh, central mocks. They are building a uh, art center. Art center is the construction is ongoing there. Across the Kanda Highway, we have SHS there, the NVIT. Go and see the ultra modern building. 
by this government is there. Yes. So if you say this government has done nothing for Ayawaso, it's, it's just their pretense, their usual pretense to steal the mandate of this community. We have member of parliament who is NDC since 1992. Go and see our neighbor, uh, neighborhood uh, constituency, Ayawaso North. Their MP is NDC. But go and see the development going there. Ayawaso North? Ayawaso North. The relation of duty, incompetency, that's what our MP is. No empowerment. As a young person, I want to further my education. What is our MP doing to get scholarship for the brilliant but needy students in the constituency? That's the questions the NDC people should be asking. If indeed you have Ayawaso East at arts. Secondly, my boss here is talking about sanitation. Sanitation is part of the MP's manifesto. Way back in 2012, when he was campaigning to be elected, he campaigned, he said that he's going to make sure that I, so his constituency gets away about sanitation. He's going to provide slabs. Gotta. He's going to provide slabs. He said it. He said he's going to create a fund for education. Where is it? Don't worry. Where is it? So when it comes to issue of politics, we have to be candid. Me, my community is more dear to me than MPP. Because MP, my community is there before MPP. So I cannot come and sit on national TV to lie because of politics. It is never true. This side, which is Nima, West, Kusuntula, our problem is leadership. It's not politics. It's leadership. You mean at the community level? At the community level. The assembly but but you have assemblymen, right? The assembly members are doing their best. But there are some people who are enemies of this constituency enemies of this community because of politics. Let me give you one scenario. There was a time that the municipal assembly wanted to come and develop these markets. Two, three days, the market women were assembled and informed that MPP government want to sell the market. So they should go on street and demonstrate. And they did so. They demonstrated against the development of the market. You are saying that the which market? Is it this very this, market? This very market. The one around the overhead. This oh, just the one here. That's around the station. This market. They demonstrated. The Every, is it the assembly that decided? It's not. Yes. It's part of their project to develop. You see, when we are talking about development, we have two types. We have the central government development, and we have the assembly. The de local government development. The local government. The local government or the assembly members, all that they need is our support to support them to bring development. When they are doing their best, you see some people against them, which is very bad. Which, and which people usually are against them? For them, I cannot mention their name here. But if you want, I, after the program, I'll give you the names tomorrow. Go and do your show with it. All right. So, those things are what is injuring progress. All right. in I, the I think you've made your point. Let me speak to women. I want to hear more women's voices. Diana Adiko is complaining. She's a woman and a gender activist. Uh, Alaji Bode, you want to respond to it? No, hold on, hold on. Let me speak to some women. Hadja, how are you? Uh, Hi, thank you. Hadja, tell me, what are the concerns of the community? Uh, especially how we can move the conversation forward. Because at the end of the day... Development, you can speak in any language. I have Hadja here, she will interpret it for me. Okay, my name is Leila Kasim. I'm constituency executive member, East Iowas. Okay. Once again, my name is, um, I'm uh, the woman organizer in Nima Fest. Okay. Um, You're a I strong woman, oh. you are everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> What's your nickname on the political ground? Oh. No nickname? Leila. Eh? Leila. Leila. <laughs> when I say Leila, you say, what would you say? Laila. Eh, Zusa. Eh, Laila. Eh, <laughs> okay, so Laila, tell me the concerns you have. Okay. Can I speak out, sir? Oh, speak it. I have okay. had you here. She'll interpret it for Let's me. Let's get um, community mungadi. Ena amini kama muna opposition. Kuma muna opposition na kama MP mu. Arabu Maknaza. By JMK kam 
Masai number. She's a community munan. Be the curfew that say cow one up with a chicky community muna nanga MC mu teche kamadata gara anya. But yet taiba. A mind that come on president mu and JM K come power. Yeah, more than that. Nga call it na yeah, I want magana yon zunga way two twenty two two thousand two. Two thousand two. Nima de mamo below catching a sooner gamini. Kuma I mean a daddy come my MPC Mudaskos Kazona come as a Masaina Suinasu. Opposition de MP Bay lobby a cow. Domuna opposition. Ama Kuzo Kuzona Kuna Muna Majuna Munkaria de Beiba. A Muna Nanga Quetches Akugara and Yapa Kugaraba. Gasti Nima Duka Abata by Garaba. Gabo too clear, clear, Casa Bola de Menene Duka. MC Mumeta Mana. Emana Kumiba. Amarabu Maknaza in the command president JMK come power. Anka Omana. An lobby a kaumana gara mana chikin nima. Ama muzo na muzo muna yama juna mukaria. Opposition be naze je lobby a kao. Be samu e lobby a kao. She sa muna roka la kama. The excellency JM is okam power. Yes, so I develop mana nima i fiaka. Kuma na imani muka zoka power. Ya yeah, gara. Don't gari ya bata. Komi ya bata ba aiki ba se o komi. Komi ya isada. She sa. I'm um, yo, and people are on a zoo zone as we man a career come on. Eh, Jum, eh, Arabu Maknaza has on a bay, you call me ba. Yes, ah, uh, Magana Nang Baga sketch. Ah, what did she say? Okay, just summarize it for me. Okay, I, I, I know there's one thing she's been saying rhyming through that. <laughs> The member of parliament, Magnaza, is uh, is in opposition, so his lobbying skills will be limited. Yeah, but she was saying that the MPP cannot tell us our honorable Magnaza having did nothing for the community. Community, he has done a lot for the community. When the MC said she is going to construct the road, she didn't. So MPP have nothing to say. We are in opposition with the MP cannot lobby many projects for the community. As the system goes, if your mother is not in the kitchen, you can't get enough food to eat. So that's what she say. Addition to what she has said, the MP has done a lot. Let me remember the people of the community. Around 90... 1994 going in this community. This Medina stage, when it rains, you can't walk into this stage. Oh, is that so? Is that yes, true? You can't walk. Okay, all the macro women. Is that true? You can't walk. Oh, okay. The MP has done a lot for the community. Where we sit here is the MP project. The MP brought a project called Operation Cement Your Lungu, which all Lungus in the community. Operation are what? Cement your lungus. Operation. Please cement your lungus. <laughs> yes. That's the I understand. I know what lungu is. I grew up with. in Ashima, so I know. Yes. That's the agenda for the project. As I'm sitting here, all the lungus was cement those times. That's the MP have done a all lot. All the lungus in Nima yes. were cemented. Yes. Okay. When you go to Ashama Station, when you go to Ashama Station, the pavement block there is the project for MP. Even the MP creates an inner road from Ashama Station through Hot Coffee, you get to the Kanda Highway. At first, when there is a program, you cannot even pass there. Okay. There is a mosque there which MP broke all the mosques and construct another mosque there for the benefit of the community. The MP has done a lot. When you go to Naza Bridge, you can't even cross that drainage. There's the a bridge MP called Naza Bridge. Yes. After the MP. Yes, which was named name by a bridge the, after MP. the MP. Yes. Okay. Because he's the one who constructed the bridge. So the MP has done a lot. Let's say the facts. We are all politicians here. But we can't come here and say different things. If my MP did not did well, I will say it. Okay, but then let me ask you. Because there's me. something he's been saying. What's your name? Ali. Ali, Ali has been saying something. I think that Master Planner Junior Kintampo. Uh, he's uh, based in Bonoba, is uh, watching. But it's true, he made, he made mention of some things. For example, we all can use the highway, so we can see the school, there's a development. Do you acknowledge that there's a development of the school by the government? 
Which school? The second, the technical school. Is it a technical school? Yes. yes. The technical a, school started by the former MP. I, 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 I yes. relax. I'm saying that. Yes. Uh, so you acknowledge it was started by your MP. No, no, no. The former MP. Okay. The former the MP. Dr. Mustafa. Okay. So I'm the saying that. MP, yes. I'm asking you. Is it true? Because he has said it that yes. even the school is there, but you know, development is a continuum. Okay. So there's been a two-story block that has been done in the school. It's, it's true. Is the municipal assembly who constructs it? La, continue la, it? La, yes. la. Is the municipal assembly <laughs> right. who okay. did it? Because and then there are some listen, projects listen. which is beyond the municipal assembly. That's all right. But there are projects that the municipal assembly did. Hey, this woman, you are yes. strong. All right. So then, do you also acknowledge that? Um, I know the polyclinic. Is it the polyclinic? Yes. Yeah, there, there, there's been work on the medical block, the, the medical block at the polyclinic. I don't know whether you see it. He said it. We started by the MP, and we, the assembly members, come and approve it. Okay, so you we were continue so you were the assembly when it was approved at the assembly yes. level. Yes. Okay, but it's still under this government, right? Oh, but we, the assembly, finished the project. All right. Yes. All right. Yes. I think there's a question I, and I the need. The project I, is under the MP. It's I, the MP who started it. Okay. All right. No fight. You say yeah. Uh, Hadia what? Rukayatu Ilias. Okay. You see, the assembly member for the area. Okay, Rukayatu. Yes. Let me. I, I, I want to ask a question to all of you. Roland, you want to clarify? Okay, Ulabodi. Please, I'll, I'll come to you. Uh, thank you very much. Yes. Uh, you see. You uh, want to clarify Ali's point? Yes. You see, uh, if you attend... He says that you came to tell lies. Yes. If you attend a school of lies that has been built by Dr. Baumia, you by all means... Let, let's be tempered no, no, in our no, no. language. He, he, made, he made mention of me peddling lies here. Yes. I've been in this community for more than years, and I know what is happening. And I've been the longest serving chairman in Iowa, so in Greater Accra. Hola, buddy. My brother. The municipal assembly is talking about. He doesn't know the history. I worked at assembly as the Lesdep coordinator for six good years under Professor Mills and John Mahama. I was part and parcel of those who started initiative for the municipal assembly. I was part of it. By that time, he was a small boy. He doesn't know what, is, what happened there. The Bureau of Languages has been there for a long time. I am telling you. Oh, the, man at, the one at Nimaruga. Yes, please. And the road that he has, he has talked about was started and continued and completed by Mr. Potofi. The then national chairman of the NDC. Make it quick then, for me. I was at the assembly. So if, he's, if he has come here to better lies, I need to correct him. I will come here and do propaganda because I'm talking to my people and I want my people to understand why the NDC needs to, the people needs to vote for your mama in, 20, in 2024. My brother, he sat here and he was talking about, he should mention one single project that has been done by MPP in this community. One single project. And I've told you and I've lamented on it. That the, the, the drainage that was started by Jerry John Rollins, today still we are benefiting on it. He should mention one day that they, have, that they have done this committee. The member of parliament, as we are sitting here, the lady has said it. It wasn't like this. It was Honorable McNaza who came with a visionary conviction that, look, let me do this for them. Go to the go to Francis area, go to the Shama area, go to the hot coffee area. It was done Chama by Olabo, McNaza, you have to end. And you are telling you are sitting here peddling lies. We are not here to tell lies. Okay, Let's you say that. Out. Lies. Your, okay, your, he also accused your vice president okay, today okay. lives at Kanda. What has he done for the group of Niba? Baumia is just here. Akufado is here at Nima. Why? Your worry is that you have the president was born, and the Akufado vice president all in the consequence. He should mention what he has done. He is only in this country collapsing all businesses as he has been collapsed in Nima here. So what are you talking about? Let us be realistic Mr. and talk the truth. Mr. Roland. Yeah. Mr. Roland. Mr. Roland. Thank you very much. That is him. My name is. My name is Ismail Ahuru Ali, the great Accra Regional Zongo Caucus coordinator for NDC. I think my brother Ali, I agreed with him on certain aspects and disagreed with him on certain aspects. Who? My brother, my, my little brother Ali. Ali, Ali. Ali, yeah. I think the first, he said the president has you given us. He wrote the things down. <laughs> yes. He said the president has, read, oh. He said the president has given us the municipality. First, before we got the municipality, we got our independence as East Ayawaso constituency from the late president, John Ivas Atamos. He gave us this constituency because first, it was 
we and Mambo P, I was so enough. So the president, Atamis came in and divided the constituency and gave us this mandate. So before we became a municipality, we, we became constituency before the municipality. And again, he's talking about development. I think when it comes to development in East Ayawasu, NDC are the best. Look, Roland, I, I'm telling you, all the inner lists that you meet in the constituency was done under the NDC government. The previous and the, the current MP. But Alaji, I've asked you, I've, even though the school was built under NDC, we've seen a block that has been constructed under the MPP government. You have to acknowledge that. It's, it's continue. Uh, Ola, Alaji, Ola, I, won't, relax. I, I won't say <laughs> they started from scratch. Uh -huh. There is nothing in this constituency and then also, that MPP started from, from scratch. So what do you want? The one you are going to acknowledge is only from scratch? No, no. The one that I'm, go I'm going to acknowledge is it, it talk about so you units. want something from foundation no, yeah, to yeah. the one that I'm going to acknowledge is talk about it, it talks about unity. Okay. It's true. Lack of indiscipline is the Okay, hold situation. on, hold on. Uh, you want to react quickly? Who wants to react? You want to react? Okay. What's your name? My name is Opile Mansuri, but I would like to speak Hausa because you are in my yes, yes. Um. Um, MC municipal assembly that they that the father to scratch at the pizza at the end back at the chim in a back at the chim in a kekai it that they from scratch at the pizza to compensate co and they come out at the compensate that a compensate so MC Taya Bubu a day watch kinni manga kaje ni ma cluster of schools nagano that innovate to ring, that provide chairs. There were about 2,000 chairs. Name of cluster of schools just here. A lot of things. Think about sanitation, Mama. Starting from, no, starting from scratch is here. That is a Macaranta full, Macaranta three story building. It's a school. Kanda MVTI. We started from scratch. No. Asotef, we are still on it. We started from scratch. Yes. The concern is that the AstroTurf, uh -huh. it was not well constructed. I think the video is even on TikTok. They cannot say it's not well constructed. Okay. Okay. It's all I've, I've seen the it video. Is it on the one around the there? Brother, yeah, 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 Roland, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a Roland. So it doesn't the, mean it, it, the it does not start from scratch. Hey, relax, relax. It really. started from scratch. It's from scratch. Yes, the assemblymen, okay. they were there when we cut the sword. Yes, I even they saw it. Yeah. Yes. But I'm saying that the video is even on TikTok. Yes. Where rain and then the asphalt, the... It's still yeah. ongoing. Okay. The, the product is from Coda. The product is from Coda. The concern yes, is that Costa, it was not well constructed and abandoned. No, it's not. No maintenance. Nobody, nobody has commissioned it. Now, when you go to Roland, it's, it's like a swimming pool. Give me my, mic. my brother, it's ongoing. If you say, if you are telling me, if you are trying to tell me that uh, the, 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 the astral turf is being flooded, go to, go to, uh, 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 uh Circle here, Dubai. When it rains, always flooded. Does that mean? Does that mean they didn't construct it well? That 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 Dubai. I'm giving you an example. That, I'm giving you an example that, because you are saying please, flood. Please, please, please. Mm -hmm. We all know that the reason why the interchange at the Kwame Nkrumah area was constructed was to prevent the traffic the, when it floods people to commute. So there's no way the interchange could have flooded. Because the interchange, you know, it's... Uh, so, but mm -hmm. I think that the conversation we want to have is that we want the development of the area. Yes. And I'm saying that mm -hmm. um, the projects that have been cited are all well and good. And I'm saying, do we all agree that development has been done on one side and also being done? That's the point. Yes. And you are acknowledging that. So yes. go ahead. I'm acknowledging that. Yes. Because we have a lot of things that the MC has done for this area. Okay. So if you sit down here and tell me that, oh, 
MC and the MPP government does not done nothing to the Nima people, you are lying. Okay. Even this ongoing project that they are saying, World well Bank, World well Bank, who did the negotiations? My brother, who did these negotiations? You mean the Gary so, project? The so, current Mama project. Did. The current so, project. Mama did. They, are, they, they just sit here and do propaganda. No, Mama did. I don't know why they are misleading their people. They are misleading their people. Joe Mama has been the president of the Republic of Ghana for almost six years. Where is he? What has he done to the people of Nima? They should tell us. A lot. What has he done to the people of Nima? They should give me one thing, one social benefit that every Nima person is benefiting from what your mama did to Iowa so East. No. No. So, my brother. All right. Thank okay. you very much. Um, Asamla, please talk for me. Eh? No, 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 no. Roland. Don't beat Roland. me. Relax. Roland. Roland. No, wait. I'm here. Wait. I'm here, Roland. Let the assembly man talk. Roland, I'm here. Mr. Mr. Roland, I have, I have. Mr. I have, Roland, I'm here. I have a clarification. Please relax, relax. I'm controlling. Relax, relax, relax. Let the assembly man start talking. Mr. Roland. Mr. Mr. Roland. Continue. I, I have, I have one clarification to make on earlier submission that was made by my 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 friend, uh, the communication officer of the Iowa Sioux East. With regards to, with, with regards to, with regards to the implementation of the uh, first tranche from the uh, World Bank, with regards to the Gary project, and he made mention of the one that was made post 2015, the first one, no, or the, the current one. Million mm. That is being utilized. That the money has been squandered. I I I want to put on record that uh, from the record we have. The, the implementation was successfully done. This is the first project in my community, in my life, that I have seen compensation being paid to affected person, and a lot of money that is supposed to go into the road construction, into the community improvement, has gone into a compensation payment. And I know of over 500 individual and structure owners who have benefited from this same project. So it is not true that that money has been misapplied. Okay. Again, Please. as I as I made mention earlier, and I want to reiterate that point, with regards to how we can win the war against sanitation, I want to limit myself to the, the, the job that I have asked myself to do, that is assemblyman, which has to do with community help. The biggest challenge we have is the sanitation, as I said earlier. And how are we addressing this through this project? Uh, as part of this project, World Bank and uh, Garrett is instituting a place called a sanit uh, sanitary site. And this sanitary site, what it's going to do is they are going to provide that with some cleanup uh, materials, some tricycles, some compactor machines that will make sure on a daily basis we won't see the kind of mess we are seeing on the Nima Highway. So these are some of the things Point that Garid is made. making to improve Point the sanitation right. within the community. Um, Mr. Jeff, Roland, I want more Mr. Roland. Okay, I'll be so, on the uh, waiting list. Introduce for yourself and make your point. Mr. Roland. Yeah. <laughs> Salam alaikum. My name is Abdul Fatah Al Hassan. People call me Cash. Abdul Fatah Al Hassan. People call me Cash. So the, AKA Cash. The mayor of Nima. The unofficial. mayor of Nima. Speaking. Let me, let me talk. Unofficial. If I say the mayor of Nima, people think that we have mayor of Accra. Or the assembly. Uh -huh. But only Nima, only Nima has mayor. Ashama doesn't have. Fadama and the rest. <laughs> All right. Abdul Fatal. I'm here to mayor speak of Nima. for Nima. I'm not here to speak for NDC or MPP or CPP. Tell me your concerns. Really. I was in my room. And I saw this program. Quickly, I take my shower, I take Okada for me to come and meet. But what I see here, I see a debate between NDC and MPP. And they are not wrong. They are defending their party. They are politicians, most of them. But they are Nimanians. What pains me here right now, they are talking like they are, everybody is protecting his party. They are not protecting the community. Me, I'm here to speak for Nima and speak the truth. You understand? 
Since 1992, I was 52 years. My you were, age. Yeah. You, were, you were 52 years in 1992. No, no, no. I say my age, 52 years. So I want to speak since I was born in Nima, born and bred, still living in Nima. I want to say something that maybe there is younger ones here. They never see. I see government after government. From Achampong, Liman, Rollins, up to today. So when you talk about development, some of them, they did their best and leave. But it's painful. We have the seat of the government in Ayawaso East constituency. What do you mean? What I mean is, if, let's say, there is a proverb in our language, me kaza be chinkafa. Me kaza be chinkafa. Me kaza be chinkafa. Me kaza be chinkafa. Yeah, means that...